Hey there internets, I'm Michael and this is To Can Play That Game, bringing you a review of Stolen Treasures by Do You Know My Game. So what is Stolen Treasures? Well, in this game you are each agents from various countries trying to recover these lost and stolen artefacts from the ages. And these are all actual real treasures that have been stolen at one time or another and you can go to their website and check out all the story and history behind each of these. And whoever manages to collect the most will win the game. Now, the game ends when someone runs out of cards. And that point, whoever has the point values, which is given on the bottom of the treasures, that is highest, will win. So why don't we take it to the table and I can tell you a bit more about how this actually plays. So in this game, you will shuffle up your deck of all these cards. You'll then deal eight to each player. So let's set up for a two player game here. So eight cards to each player there. And you then turn over the top card to start your discard pile. Then pick who of your players is gonna go first. They'll then look at their cards and see what they've got. So here we have some item cards. Use the combination of these item cards in order to play these treasure cards. So in order to play this treasure card down in front of you and get these 40 points, you need to have C and G items. So C is a computer and G is a glass cutter. So this player has what they need to play that treasure. They also have another treasure. They have this, uh, oof, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that, uh, that requires an eye and they do have that. So at the moment they have everything they need to play two treasures. They also have then a spare computer card, explosives card and a black market card. Now a black market card is one of the special cards in the game. I'm not going to go through them all. There are quite a few of them. This one allows you to ignore the cost in the bottom here. So you don't need the item cards in order to play. You just use the black market card. The game ends when one player has no cards left in their hand. So let's talk about how this player will start their turn. To start their turn, they must draw two cards, either from the discard or from the deck. Now, this player doesn't need the G in order to play a treasure, so they're just gonna draw two cards off the top of the deck here. So you can see they've drawn another treasure. Now this Mona Lisa is a special treasure that has two parts and you need to play both parts together. So now they can play any special cards they want or treasures. So here they'll play this treasure because they have the eye that will get them 10 points and the computer and glass cutter will enable them to play this other treasure. So they now have 50 points worth of treasure down in front of them and now they have to discard a card. So they have the black market to be able to play this but they need the other half of it before they can. They've got two computers so they're going to discard a computer. That is then this player's turn over and play proceeds to the next player. And you continue this way until any player has no cards. At that point, you add up the treasure in front of a player's points and whoever has the most has won the game. Okay, so that's a bit of an overview of stolen treasures. So what do I actually think of the game? Well, let's start with the artwork. Obviously, the artwork on the box here, I would say is actually very representative of the game. It's not to my taste. It's a very minimalist graphic design. The treasures are all just pictures of those treasures doesn't hugely appeal to me. There's not much engaging me in drawing my interest there. Again, with the tools that you use, it's just a picture of that tool with this green background. Not much to really draw you in, entice you, engage you, make you feel thematic at all, really. And the special items, I mean, they're not even all very much in keeping with each other. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of not amazing artwork, really. And then let's talk about the components. Obviously there's only one component, this is a card game, it's just the cards. They're okay, um, they're not great quality to be honest, uh, but they'll, they'll work and do definitely. 
So with that out of the way, let's talk about the gameplay. Now, this gameplay is very simple and it is very luck heavy. Obviously, if you draw valuable treasures, then you can play valuable treasures. If you don't, you can't. The nature of this whole set collection and the fact that you have different codes needed of the different items is reasonably interesting. And obviously you have the choice, do I take from the discard, do I take from the deck, gives a bit of interest. But for the most part, the game is very luck heavy. It is very lacking engagement really. It's a party game in disguise as a more engaging game. That's what I would say. If you're playing this with a lot of people, then there's much more interaction with the special cards of, I play this on you, I play this on you, and keeping an eye on what people are doing with regards to when the round will end. Whereas if you're down to say two people, and of course this being two can play that game, we need to know, can two play that game? I really wouldn't recommend it at two. It's an okay game at four or more. At two, no, just not worth playing at all, unfortunately. But you might disagree with me. If you like this kind of set collection-y game, if you like the idea of picking two cards, discard one, then this could appeal to you. And obviously it's got these tons of special power cards. It can be quite easy to just end up with a handful of these, but you know, if you like that whole special power, take that, you know, special agent, I steal your stuff security hack no not security hack firewall you skip your turn if you like that kind of gameplay this may be the game for you so you might want to check it out okay i do hope that you found this video useful and that you've enjoyed it and of course if you have please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as subscribing to the channel and sharing it with your friends and family and do also take a look at us on social media you can find us on facebook and on twitter and as always thanks for watching and bye for now